your your uh, uh, con you know your concern is all this vast amount of the data that we had that right. was there before and yeah. trying to filter that in the moment that we need it i don't think evolutionary uh, at this point in time that our brain and maybe it will be at some point our brains will develop around more information and more access and quicker access like a computer and the and the faster and faster chip um, that's a that's kind of out there, but it, it 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 does seem to be important to be able to access the information at the right time. And, and the neuro neu, neuroscience is part of this um, uh, AI and natural language processing uh, as they as these things as these technology get developed. So uh, they are there. There is neural network neuroscientists, neuroscience engineers. They are all working hand in hand. Um, and you, you know, sky is the limit on uh, these type of futuristic uh, uh, expectations or dreams that some people may have, or uh, problems that we are trying to see. Is it possible? Uh, to 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 me, the biggest thing is um, because I, I'm I'm a I, I'm being a son of son of a teacher uh, parents. I always value uh, a high respect for teachers and professors uh, naturally, and so I I like. Uh, my math teacher, I like my physics teacher. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I wish I could talk to them for a minute. Right, you know, right. Um, uh, uh, think back. I mean, uh, just just for a casual conversation in a three D right. environment, uh, uh, talking to uh, just like this, having this. I mean, ha imagine we do this in a three D environment in the future, and bring back all the previous notes uh, uh, digitally. Rod, I'd have a lot better questions. I'm just saying that. <laughs> so, so the the thing that is. Uh, in, uh, 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 excites me is from an education perspective so much for the future students so much uh, for the faculty or the teachers in the classroom there they can focus more on the one-on-one uh, uh, -on -one engagement of the student uh, with the with, now that we have this technology students can engage uh, in a uh, when they when they need it when they have a question about a topic they taught last week or the current few minutes ago, they can always uh, rely on this uh, AR uh, technology uh, yeah. and get that yeah. and or AI chatbots mm -hmm. while um, the teachers in the classroom can uh, really focus on the students who really need some help in, wow. in the you know in yeah. a real engagement. So that. To me, that is, uh, uh, we, we love to have that environment so all students will become successful. So you'll be leveraging the teacher in the classroom. Yes. You'll, ultimately, the teacher can be, can be unleashed to do even more because they'll have these assistants. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, I, can, I can show you, I have brought some, uh, one, one video. Um, you, you know, the Silicon Valley of India is Bangalore. Right. And uh, they just launched uh, a, a teacher robot. Um, in in uh, the international school, uh, just recently, and I looked you know I looked at the video. It's really in the classroom full of students. The teacher is not replaced, while the robot teacher is teaching the class. It's a lady teacher robot teaching uh, the class, um, and students are listening to this uh, teacher mm -hmm. uh, uh, robot, and uh, while that is going on. The real teacher, uh, 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 faculty, is going around and uh, paying attention to uh, everyone and, and listening and doing the them. things that human beings do the best. Yes, which is analyzing that one-on-one -on -one interaction. Yes, yes, yeah. and see, is uh, or he can sit and uh, if it is an exam, uh, proctor, proctor is right there. Y you know, uh, the uh, AI or. Um, the uh, you know the robot teacher is taking care of the proctoring and all that, but the, this was amazing, and um, uh, the robot was teaching uh, the subjects very well, and the uh, the PowerPoint everything automatically right. driven, all that fantastic. So I was just look, looking at what would be the future going to happen. So pretty quickly, those robots will be the teaching assistants or the teacher, and while the faculty is. Uh, can expand on engagement of the student or increase more spend on research. Sky's the limit. And the, and the ramp up is exponential in the same way that back in 2006 when you and I were first discussing online instruction, digital instruction, and it was such a big deal and how will you give tests, how will you assess things, and now digital instruction yeah. for some universities 
is 100% of what they do. Yes. And it's 100% of what many students do now. Right, right. And, and it's been, what, 13 years yep. since then. So it's it's incredible to think what will happen. Uh, I, I think Mike used the expression 2025. That's just a few years away. But when you're talking about exponential increase in technology and in the things it generates, who knows what jobs could be generated.